Hey everybody, Chris here again. Welcome back to the channel. Always good to have you with us. So today, we're gonna have a look at connecting to Facebook Messenger and Discord in MS-DOS using a Raspberry Pi as a bridge and Michael Brutman's MTCP IRC Junior client as an IRC client. So that's gonna be great fun. Without further ado, let's get right to it. So first some preconditions, and as always, this procedure is available in my Git repo. And the first precondition we're gonna look at is Raspberry Pi setup. We won't be going through that today, but I do have a procedure you can follow that I actually recently updated. And one thing we'll wanna do, at least for purposes of my procedure, is name the host Raspberry Pi. The next thing we need to look at and ensure is that you have a way to copy files to your retro machine, I'll assume you do. Zip drive, floppy network, CD burner, something. So as long as you have that, then you'll be able to satisfy all of the preconditions. Now let's talk about installing the Facebook Messenger bridge. The first thing we're gonna do is SSH to a Raspberry Pi. You might be in Linux or using a Mac. I'm using Windows, so I'm gonna use PuTTY for Windows and put in Raspberry Pi as the host name, and then log in as Pi, and then use the Pi password that I set up when I set up my Raspberry Pi. Perfect. So now, let me make the window a little bigger, and we're going to go ahead and proceed to install Biddleby. And it's actually just one command, real easy, sudo apt get install, Biddleby and a few libraries, and we're all set. Perfect. Next, we're gonna install the Biddleby Facebook plugin. Also just one apt get command. Excellent. So with that, we're ready to start. That's it guys. All right, done. Just kidding. Next, I'll show you how to actually access this, but that's the installation. Now, if you wanna set this up so that it'll run on startup, you can also add it to your Etsy RC local file. Okay, let's talk about how to access this using the IRC Junior from MTCP. First of all, you're gonna to wanna to download MTCP and I won't showcase that, but I will show you my procedure for setting up MTCP. The first thing you need to do is set up a packet driver and I have done that here on this virtual machine. It happens to be PCNTPK, which is the first line in my auto exec bat. The next thing we're gonna do is set up a configuration file for MTCP, and I'll just call it tcp.cfg. And I've already got mine set up, first matching that packet driver interrupt of 65, sending an IP address, netmask, gateway, name server, and MTU from this procedure. Now, if we flip back over to my other procedure, there's also some IRC Junior settings that we need to set. And it's those first three IRC Junior settings. You can ignore the back scroll for now, and it's actually not even correct. So just ignore it, pretend it's not there. In any event, that's how we set up IRC Junior, and then we can exit out. Okay, with that, we can go ahead and let's proceed to create a config.bat file so that we can execute that configuration with ease. So I'll go ahead and create that in the MTCP directory, and we're just gonna set one environment variable, and that's it. Perfect. The steps below for the Telnet and FTP bat, ignore. Okay, moving on. Let's go ahead and launch this thing. And to do that, we type IRC Junior Raspberry Pi after changing to the MTCP directory and running config.bat. All right, so with this, we're connected to Biddleby, and I'll go ahead and try and register, but it fails because, well, I've actually already registered. So I'll go ahead and type identify, and that's what you do on subsequent times of launching the program. And then from there, we put the opera command in with our nickname and password. And you can see it says that no accounts are known, so we need to go ahead and add an account. So I'm gonna say account add Facebook and my credentials, sorry, not showing them to you. Now you can actually use app credentials. I'm using my Facebook credentials, it's up to you. You're probably better off using app credentials because you may get to this point and may not log in. If that's the case, go follow the procedure here and that will show you what you need to do to go ahead and allow that to connect. All right, so from here, all we really need to do is send a message to a friend. So I'm just gonna send one to this individual named Terry and say, talk to you soon. And then from there, we can go ahead and actually pop up the Facebook Messenger page and can see that indeed, we're all set to talk to you soon. Perfect, all right. Now, if somebody sends us a message, like you can see here, 
it'll pop up in a separate chat window. And we can toggle back and forth between the chat windows with Alt-1 and Alt-2. When all done, we can exit IRC Junior with an Alt-X and we're all set. Now if we want to log in later, here you can see the series of steps. We can change into the MTCP directory, we can then run config.bat, then IRC Junior Raspberry Pi, identify, then the opera command, and that's pretty much the story. And you can go ahead and explore different options that are available to you. Looking at the Discord bridge, the preconditions are the same, so I won't jump over to the other procedures. Once again, you want to set up a Raspberry Pi, name it Raspberry Pi, and have a method to copy files. That's it. As for installing the Discord bridge, it's a little bit more intricate than installing the Facebook plugin, but it's not that bad. So what we're going to go ahead and do is get logged into our Raspberry Pi. And then from there, we're not going to install Biddleby because we already have. But what we can do is go ahead and install the Discord plugin. To do that, we need to actually clone a Git repository. After cloning that, we can change into the directory where it is, run the autogen command, which will take just a minute, then run configure, then run make, then run make install, sudo make install. And now we're ready to start Biddleby and basically restart it so that it loads that plugin. That's it. Now we're going to show you how to access Discord via IRC Junior. Once again, you would need to download MTCP and follow my setup guide. And we're going to actually need to make one edit to TCP CFG. Remember that back scroll command I was talking about? Well, we're going to go ahead and edit that and get that right. So let's go ahead and crack that file open. And you can see I already have the line in there and I've already fixed it. <laughs> but in any event, this gives us 375 lines of scroll back, which probably won't be enough. More on that in a minute. Okay. So from there, we can run config and IRC Junior Raspberry Pi to get logged in. We can go ahead and register. And once again, I'm already registered. And if you've been through the other workflow, this will fail. Just do identify instead. And then you can go ahead and type opper and your nickname and your password. And let's go ahead and add a Discord account. So to do that, it's going to be account, add Discord, and then your credentials, which I won't be showing you. So very sorry. And then from there, account on, and you'll be all set. Hello, Retro Eric. I see you're in the chat somewhere. So from here, we can actually do a list of all the Discord channels with a chat list Discord. And from there, we can do a chat add Discord, followed by an exclamation point and the channel number we want to join. I want to join that moderator only channel you see above. So that's going to be 325. From there, we can choose a channel name. So I'm just going to say mod ch. That'll be good enough for now. And from there, we can go ahead and join that channel by typing join mod ch. And we will have joined a Discord channel. All right, so from there, I can go ahead and type a message in that channel. And if we flip over to Discord, we can see it's there. Let's type back. And if we go back, we can see indeed the message is there. Perfect. Pretty cool. So what do we do in the situation where there's too much scroll back history and we want to find our channel? I'm going to show you how to do this via a command line IRC program on the Raspberry Pi. Of course, you have other options at your disposal. So the first thing we're going to do is install IRSSI, and we're going to run it one time so that configuration gets generated. So we'll launch it, and then we'll do a slash quit to get out of it. And after we've done that, we can go ahead and edit the config file. So let's go ahead and grab that, and we're going to scroll all the way to the bottom where we'll find settings, and we want to change the real name, username, and nickname to match what we had in MTCP. So let's go ahead and flip back over there for a minute and type out our tcp.cfg. You can see for me it's DOS, DOS, and DOS. That's real simple, so I'll go ahead and put those in for the real name, for the username, and for the nickname. There we go. From there we can do a control X and a Y and enter to save. Excellent. All configured. So let's go ahead and launch IRSSI again. And then we can go ahead and look at those IRC channels. So before you proceed, make sure you've disconnected with MTCP, otherwise you're gonna have a fight. So let's go ahead and connect to the Raspberry Pi. 
and join the Biddleby server, which this doesn't seem to do automatically like IRC Junior did. From there, we can identify, and then we can do our slash opera command and put in our DOS uh, alias, if you will, and password. Hello, Retro Eric. From there, we can list the channels again, and we can now scroll back further. So that's pretty cool. I won't scroll all the way back, but I can scroll back further. And we can go ahead and join a channel as well by doing chat, add, discord, bang, number, and the name of the channel we want to create. And then from there, we can join that channel. And there we are in a nice discord channel. So when done, we can just type quit. And now if we go back to IRC Junior, we will have joined that channel. So that's just perfect. So I'll go ahead and log in there. And we'll go ahead and identify and put in that opera command for our alias. And we're in. So from there, we can now go ahead and list our channels because maybe we forgot what they are. So we can run a channel list command. And this is actually really convenient. So let's run that. And then from there, we can see the different channels we have. And I'm just going to join that Tandy channel again. Why not? Who doesn't love Tandys? And then from there, you can see that we are all set. So pretty cool how that works. And definitely feel free to explore some more. There's a lot of options in Biddleby Discord. And here's a link where you can see more things to explore. All right. Well, that's what I had for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. I certainly had a blast setting this up. It really was great fun. And I want to give a special thanks to Matt the Retro Geek, who let me use his Discord server to demonstrate that. We'll put a link to that in the description below. Definitely subscribe to the channel. There's a lot more content on the way. Ring that notification bell and you'll be notified when that content is available. If you liked what you saw today, please do give us a thumbs up. If not, consider sending me a strong message by pressing that thumbs down button twice. In all cases, it's been great having you along for the journey as always. And I look forward to seeing you next time. But until then, bye for now.